Hi, this is Eric Knapp with Nitro Security. I'm going to do a short demonstration on NitroView Enterprise Security Manager version 8.4, specific to detecting data loss. Now, using the power of NitroView's Application Data Monitoring Appliance, or NitroView ADM, NitroView ESM is able to show not only normal event and log types associated with what you expect from a SIM, but actual contents of applications. Now, if I focus specifically on the events produced from the application data monitor, and I'll switch to a relevant dashboard that shows us our events organized into an event taxonomy, we can quickly look at the types of violations that the application data monitor will detect. Looking over the previous day's events, we see a total of a little over 250,000 events broken down into policy, suspicious activity, uncategorized, authentication level, or exploit events. Now I want to look specifically at policy events. The first thing you'll notice, everything else in this dashboard has now updated to focus my attention only on policy violations. This is a function of NitroView ESM's data linking capabilities. Because the performance of the system is so great, we can re-query the events and refilter the events in real time as you investigate them. Now again, if I decide to focus on mail policy violations, by selecting mail policy violation from the list, everything else on the screen updates to show me now only the mail policy violations. Now, if I'm interested in an email that contains a Coke recipe, I can click on that one particular event. I see that it's sourced from a single IP, destined to a single IP, and the instances of those events are itemized and all the details are presented for me. In this case, I have the source and destination IP address, port, MAC address, IPv6, where I'm using it, the protocol involved, the application, the duration, and the last time seen. I also have indication that it was an attached Microsoft Word document that contained the Coke recipe. And there's a unique session ID that was tagged to all event activity within this application session. That's used so I can rebuild the session later. I can see the geolocation. I can see a description of the event, including the regular expression rule that triggered it. If there were notes, I could see those, and even the specific packet involved. This is the packet that actually contained the Coke recipe. Now, before I go back into looking at an entire session, I'll come back to my main screen, and I want to focus on a different event, an email with a possible credit card attachment. Now, protecting sensitive intellectual property is important, but protecting financial information in many cases is regulated. So if there's a credit card number that's leaving your network over email or over any application, that's very, very important to know. Now, focusing on the email with a possible credit card attachment, I can very quickly focus now on this event and see all of the same details. Again, we have a session ID that has been tagged to all of these events. So I can simply view the session data and we'll now retrieve the valuable information from that application session. In this case, we have the SMTP protocol stack. Um, we see that it's from Cynthia at Gmail and to Cynthia at Gmail. We see the domain involved. We see the port and other information associated with the mail session. We also see attachment information. In this case, a document called cc.txt, which contains the credit card. With just a few clicks, I focused in on some extremely severe instances of data loss.